Hello friends, welcome to SQL Server uh, tutorial. In this uh, video, we will uh, uh, get introduced to SQL CLR function. And in this sub series, we will learn how to create function in uh, C sharp language and deploy that function in SQL Server so that you can use that C sharp function as a SQL Server function. SQL Server supports many built-in functions to satisfy the need of the database interaction. So here we are talking about built-in functions, right? You also know how to write your own SQL Server function by this time. And in this sub-series, we are going to extend writing the built-in function using the c -sharp domain. We can write our own functions, which makes call to these built-in functions to form the business logic. Right, SQL Server provides a built-in function like length and you can use that to calculate the length of a string. You can use that in other built-in function which you write, right? I mean built-in function in the sense uh, you can write your own custom function and in that function you can write your, uh, you can make call to the built-in functions. Sometimes it is useful to write function on even bigger domain, say writing function in C sharp language. We can write function making use of the functionality available with the SQL Server itself. Functionality in the sense of built-in function and other concepts. Or you can write function in uh, uh, other domain like uh, C sharp or .NET domain and when you are writing the c -sharp language based function, you can use built-in .NET libraries. Later, this function can be deployed into the SQL Server engine. We call these functions as SQL CLR function. That means when you write a function in c -sharp domain or .NET domain, we can call its integration between SQL as well as a CLR common language runtime. So such a functions are called SQL CLR functions. So once deployed, SQL CLR functions can be used as a normal SQL server function. So usually it will create a function so let's state this is begin and you will form the body then you will go with end begin and end right so inside you may make a call to build in functions so these functions are offered by sql server itself all right so it's also possible to make a call to CH deployed function. So in CH language, you will write a function, right? Then you will deploy that to the SQL server. Then it can make call to that deployed function. So we can call this as a assembly, say DLL and you can make a call to the fx which is written in a c-sharp language and the fx is what called a sql clr function so once deployed like this from c-sharp domain to sql server once the assembly is injected a sql clr function can be used as a normal sql server function just like length function you can use this uh, sql uh, clr function as well in this sub-series, we will create a SQL CLR function and explore how to deploy and use it in SQL Server. 
there is no demo here thank you for watching bye